<laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, That Creepy Reading, and today is the halfway point to the end of October. Now, don't be scared, don't fret, as we got many more chilling tales for the nights to come. But until then, all we can do is wait. And today's story is the lovely little tale of Umbra Dominina, a cautionary tale about who should you date, what will happen when who your spouse and loved one isn't who she says she will be, and till then, we'll have to read. So please, sit back, relax, turn the lights down, and prepare to be scared, because for now, let's begin. I will never soon forget the day I met her. On December 5th, 1988, I saw her. Serena Umbra, my wife. She has black hair that blends with the night sky, a figure desired by every other boy in class. And then there were her eyes. Oh goodness, her eyes. They were the kind of shimmering silver that you would see reflect upon the ocean at midnight just when the moon was in the right place. I saw a lot of that in my college days living in St. Augustine. We met in Flanger College, that ancient building in St. Augustine that fills me with hope to this day about our current generation. We're both big into fine art, sharing the same inspiration for our drawings and paintings. Our inspiration came from the lovely little painting known as Starry Night by Vincent Van Gogh. I wasn't really big on sketching, but my wife is, and I'd always see her with that pen and that sketch pad drawing away. But I never really found out what in the hell she was really working so hard on. We left Flanger College as a happy couple, still dating, and we never got really sick of each other like others did and we would constantly be told that we were the cutest couple, me being such a dark and odd fellow, and her being the bubbliest person there ever was, we eventually moved in with each other, and not long after that, we got hitched, <laughs> married if you will. I proposed to her on a full moon on the St. Augustine beach, symbolizing that same starry night that inspired us when we were young adults. She thought it was just so romantic, she couldn't say no. The wedding? That was beautiful, but nowhere as beautiful as my wife. But even after we got married, she continued working in her sketch pad, but sometimes I felt that she loved that pad a lot more than me. And um, now I know why. Anyway, I tend to watch the news, a lot more than I used to, and there was a lot of weather, a lot of abductions, a lot of murders, but worst of all, there was a picture of what looked to be exactly like my wife in her notepad, then just a small touch of static. A sketch of Starry Night drawn in blood appeared half finished with, I'm sorry, scribbled onto the unfinished half. I turned around and there she was, my wife. She stood at least a foot and a half taller with dark, hairy appendages protruding from her back. In her hands was a finished sketch of Starry Night drawn in blood. But the moon was a skull and the signature of what appeared to be in darker blood was Umbra Dominina. And that was it. That, that, that's all I remember. I remember waking up in this straitjacket. I can't get out. And I can still see that skull to this day, but trust me, Umbra Dominina is still out there. She needs blood for her next masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> 